If you thought the DJI Mini 4 Pro was a showstopper, buckle up, because the first hands-on images of the DJI Mini 5 Pro have just crash-landed on the internet, and they're looking dangerously good. And I don't mean slightly better good. <laughs> I mean DJI just walked into the drone arena like a video game character who's unlocked all the upgrades good. Sleeker body, beefed up brain power, and that smug little, yep, still under 249 grams grin. Fresh from the folks at Drone XL, these aren't blurry spy photos taken through a bush or AI-generated what-if renders. Nope, these are clean, detailed shots of the actual retail unit. It's the first time we've seen the Mini 5 Pro in the wild, fully dressed and ready to fly. Sure, the earlier packaging leaks gave us some hints, but now we're looking at the real thing in all its palm-sized glory. And right there, proudly plastered on its tiny frame, the C0 sticker, confirming it's still under the magical 249 gram limit. Translation, in the US, you can fly without FAA registration. <sighs> For casual pilots, that's like getting a permanent skip the DMV line pass. This is where things start to get spicy. That front-mounted LiDAR sensor, it's not just a don't hit the tree babysitter. LiDAR works in low light, fog, or those heart-stopping moments when you're flying over a completely featureless landscape. And alongside it, DJI has thrown in LAR, likely LiDAR-assisted ranging, which means smarter navigation, sharper obstacle detection, and fewer oops, I clipped a branch confessions. In other words, the Mini 5 Pro just leveled up its survival instincts. Remember the one-time use propeller screws from the Mini 4 Pro? <sighs> yeah, they're gone. Instead, DJI has blessed us with a tap and twist propeller system. Changing props is now as easy as swapping batteries in your TV remote, minus the part where you're shaking it like a maraca trying to get it to work. And then there's the mysterious new button on top. The leading theory? It's a quick power on button that works without the controller connected. That means you can be airborne in seconds when you spot that fleeting perfect shot. Camera upgrades that'll make you drool. Let's talk about the real star, the one inch sensor. This thing is a low light beast and a detail capturing monster. We're talking 4K at 120 FPS for slow motion that looks like it belongs in a blockbuster. Night shots, crisp. City lights, gorgeous. True vertical shooting keeps your footage sharp for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts. No awkward cropping. And with a gimbal capable of rotating up to 225 degrees, you're suddenly pulling off angles you didn't think possible on a drone this size. And yes, the bigger camera housing isn't just for show. It's DJI's way of saying, Haha, oh, we dare you to take a bad shot with this. Fold it up and it's still palm-sized. That's not just a packing convenience. It's the difference between, eh, I'll leave it, and sure, I'll bring it along. Whether you're hiking, road tripping, or just heading to the park, this thing practically begs to be tossed in your bag. Battery and flight time. DJI says 36 minutes of airtime, already a bump over the Mini 4 Pro, and if history repeats, there will be a plus battery option for even longer flights. That's fewer low battery panic landings and more time capturing what you want. Tracking that keeps up with life. Full omnidirectional obstacle sensing means this drone can tail runners, bikers, skateboarders, probably even your dog, without losing focus. This isn't your basic follow mode. This is excited, I'm sticking with you till the end mode. When and how much? We don't have a confirmed store listing yet, but whispers point to a late September reveal. Price estimates hover around $900. Yes, that's a lot for something called Mini, but this isn't just a toy. It's shaping up to be a pro-grade tool in travel size. Of course, DJI isn't the only player in the game, but if history tells us anything, DJI's got the edge when it comes to balancing power, portability, and polish. If these leaks are legit, the DJI Mini 5 Pro isn't just breaking the rules, it's rewriting them. Imagine cramming a sports car engine into a go-kart and still keeping it street legal. That's exactly what DJI has pulled off here. For pilots who crave top-tier performance without lugging around a flying brick, this could be the defining drone of 2025. The only real question left is, how fast can you clear a spot in your gear bag? Did DJI just sneak another drone under the radar? Yep. I don't know where, the DJI Neo 2 just popped up on the FCC listings. And let me tell you, this might be DJI's most underrated release of the year. So whether you're a casual drone flyer or just someone who loves new tech, this update is definitely worth your attention. Let's break down what we know, what's confirmed, what's rumored, and why the Neo 2 could quietly become DJI's next sleeper hit. Okay, so here's the deal. The DJI Neo 2 has officially been spotted in the FCC database, thanks to sharp-eyed leaker Mero Tandoy. That's a huge milestone. 
because FCC certification means the product is ready for sale in the US. Now, before you get too excited, this doesn't mean it's launching tomorrow. DJI could pull the trigger next week or keep us all waiting for months. But judging from their past launch patterns, most FCC certified products go public within four to eight weeks. That means we could be looking at a late August to September 2025 release window. Fingers crossed. As for the price, nothing's official yet. But here's the good news. All signs point to the mid-range zone, right between the ultra-budget Tello and the higher-end Mini line. We're talking around $449 to $599, which makes the Neo 2 an attractive option for beginner pilots who want pro-level features without breaking the bank. Sounds tempting, right? Now let's talk about what makes this little drone actually exciting. First off, let's start with the design. Double-layered propeller guards. We saw it in a leak prototype, and it's clear. DJI is going for safer, more refined protection, which is perfect for indoor flying or first-timers. This thing looks like it could take a few hits and keep on flying. Redesigned lightweight body. It keeps the classic mini drone silhouette, but gets a sleek refresh. More aerodynamic, more portable, and probably under that magic number of 249 grams to avoid registration in many countries. That's a win. Section four, camera and tracking upgrades. Big changes coming. Here's where it gets really interesting. Bigger camera sensor, one out of 1.3 inch. Whoa, that's a massive leap from the original Neo. We're talking ballad or low light shots, sharp detail, possibly 4K at 60 frames per second, and even a D cine like color profile for some juicy color grading potential. Oh yeah, that's a mini beast in disguise. Active Track 6.0, Focus Tracks. DJI's tracking tech is no joke, and if this rumor is true, that means buttery smooth, subject tracking, smarter movement detection, and just cooler cinematic shots, all from a drone that fits in your pocket. Add in some HDR photo modes and improved dynamic range, and it's looking more and more like a tiny powerhouse. Section five, smarter flight, better navigation. Remember how the first Neo was kind of basic when it came to obstacle avoidance? <sighs> Yeah, this time might be different. Rumor has it the Neo 2 brings real obstacle detection, possibly with front, back, and bottom sensors. That means safer flights, fewer crashes, and more confidence when flying in tight spots. And when you pair that with improved wind resistance and longer battery life, thanks to better aerodynamics, this thing could become the new go-to travel drone. Section six, what's still unknown? Now let's be honest, not everything is clear yet. We still don't know, data tree specs, extra storage, online dimensions, or whether DJI will offer a fly more combo version. But based on past DJI launches, you can expect a few bundles, maybe a controller update, and at least one surprise. Section seven, other products coming soon. 